Hello everybody, so today let's take a look at a program called Decky Loader, which uh, enables you to install plugins for your Steam Deck and it, some of those plugins are very useful. So in order to install Decky Loader, you need to set up your password first. So in desktop mode, go to all applications and then search under K, open the console and then type P-A-S-S-W-D. And I already have my password, so uh, I'm just updating it. But for you, if you haven't uh, set a password, you have to enter your password and then uh, enter it again to confirm just to make sure that they match and once you've done you can close out of console and then go to your browser okay so in your browser uh, search for decky loader uh, i'll leave a link in the description so it'll be easier for you to reference but uh, once you're in the github page just click the big download button and you should be able to download it and then uh, open your downloaded file uh, and then drag it to your desktop so just move this to your desktop just like this and then double click it to install and you should be prompted to enter your password so just do that and it should uh, you should be able to choose uh, between the normal version or the the updated one the, which is not as stable so I, I normally choose the stable version and then that's it so in order to use it we need to go back to game mode so let's go to game mode and I'll see you there okay so back in game mode click on the three dot button on your Steam Deck and then uh, at the very bottom you should see a power cord icon and that's a uh, decky loader so once you click into that you can go into the shop and then uh, the first plugin I recommend is Steam Grid DB I get a lot of questions asking how I change the artwork on my non Steam games this is the plugin so search for Steam Grid DB and then install it and once it's installed there's not much settings you should do uh, you just go out to the home page of your Steam and once you press start on those games there's a change artwork yep and once you click on it you can change the artwork very easily so here I'm uh, on Dead Island 2 so I'll show you you just uh, choose the one you want and you can choose the capsule the wide capsule the hero logo icons you can uh, set them to what you like which makes your Steam Deck look a lot better because I install a lot of non-Steam games so this is very useful for me and I think it would be for you too if you do a lot of emulation and non-Steam games so yeah uh, let's just finish this and we go to the next one Okay, so the next plugin I'd recommend is called Power Tools. So in the Decky Loader store, search for Power Tools and install this. Power Tools lets you manipulate the power of the system on a per game basis. So every game you can customize uh, how many CPU cores it uses. Uh, what frequencies they run at and uh, the wattages you can change uh, how many watts of power uh, your system uses for every game and so for games that require less processing power you could turn them down and in in order to save battery life so you, you get more battery life on running those games and for some games that require more power uh, you can give it a little bit more power and tweak the settings when you check for settings uh, for example Tears of the Kingdom Online other than the settings of the emulator they normally have settings for the power tools so in order to uh, make it run correctly you need this plugin so it's a very useful tool uh, when you want to get the best performance or the best battery life out of your games so this is uh, a must-have I reckon 
And let's get on to the next plugin. The next plugin I'd recommend is called Free Games. So at the Deculoder store, type Free Games. And this is not what you expect. It's not, it, this plugin does not give you free games. But instead, as you should know, that Epic gives out free games every two weeks. So, and sometimes you'd forget to log into the Epic Game Store to claim them. And this just gives you notification on the latest free games that's available. So it's a, it's a nice reminder for you to go to the store and claim them. So I think this is very useful because uh, Epic does give us some good games. So make sure you have this plugin installed. The next plugin I'd recommend is called Animation Changer. It's uh, more of a cosmetic thing. It changes the boot animation of your Steam Deck and also the suspend animation. Uh, there's some official ones that you can get from Steam. Uh, I think they cost some points uh, from your Steam account, but uh, this one is free and uh, these are fan-made. And some of them are really good. Uh, I, I'm using the the Matrix one. I'm a fan of Matrix. And I think this one looks really, really good. And it really matches the, the theme of the of the deck. Like you can, I'll show you the boot sequence. So now here's the store inside the plugin. So you can browse for uh, whatever uh, video you want. But I'm going for the Matrix one. You can get more than one. So if you have more than one, you can shuffle it and it just picks a random video that you've downloaded and so yeah i'll show you the the one i got on mine's the matrix one so i can set the boot the suspend and the fobber uh animation i want and they're all matrix related for my one but uh so here here's a look at it in action Yeah, so I see this screen when I boot up my Steam Deck. It's pretty cool. Okay, so the last plugin that I'd recommend is called Vibrant Deck. I think it's, this is a very popular plugin. It uh, makes the colors of your Steam Deck a lot better. So you can change the saturation and it just makes the colors really pop out uh, when you're playing in handheld mode. Uh, so yeah, just download this and you, when you go into settings, you can change the saturation. I normally go between like 120 to 130 for the saturation. That's all I tweak really. Uh, I, I guess you can change the RGB and all that, but uh, I don't go into that deep. I just change the saturation and it just makes the colors pop uh, for some, some of the games that I play. So this is very useful. And so I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. And you can leave a comment on which, which other plugins that you'd recommend to our viewers. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.